we doing today, Gary? Fixing uh, Eric's flywheel. And we are in, obviously not in our shop. It's nice to have friends. But uh, we're doing a flywheel on a 05 F-150 with the 5.4 in it. And we're gonna show y'all real quick how we diagnose this. And we'll get a few shots here and there doing some stuff on it. All right, so what we got here is the flywheel has broke at the crank where it bolts to the crank. So the way me and Gary diagnosed this the other day was you could turn the harmonic balancer, which turns the crankshaft, which in turn should turn the, the flywheel, which it did. Uh, but then I got Gary to put a screwdriver on the teeth and when he puts the screwdriver on the teeth I can continually turn the motor and the flywheel doesn't turn. So we're going to show y'all that real quick. Can you do both? You need me to hold a screwdriver up there? Alright, you ready? Yeah. So I'm turning the harmonic balancer right now. Get back on the bolt. All right, it didn't turn, did it? Now I'm letting the screwdriver loose. All right, now let the screwdriver loose, and we'll get back on it and get another bite. Now it's turning. Now it's turning. So you can see that with the resistance, there's just enough of the flywheel still contacting the crank or enough of the metal to metal there to make it turn without any resistance. But as soon as you put resistance on it, it don't do anything. So you hit the starter right now, and all you do is hear the starter zip up and run, and you hear a little bit of metal to metal, which is it turning that ring gear where it's just spinning on the crank. So we gotta put a flywheel in it. So that's it. Harder and everything else. So you can see how. Should be bolted to the crank and real stout. And you shouldn't be able to do that. Isn't that right, Gary? Yeah. So we got our transmission all separated. You can see all this. Here, come right here. Above this. You can see all that's left. That's that round piece left from the flywheel in there. And the flywheel is just literally sitting in there. You see where it rounded it all off. And he said he had this put in three years ago. Really? Yeah. He said it had automatic. Do it. Yeah. All right, automatic garage. We made it back with the new flywheel. Part number FRA562. They also make a heavy duty version of this, which they did not have here in town. We got our Loctite for our uh, flywheel bolts, and we bought two quartz transmission fluid. We got just enough room to get up in there with the torque wrench, torque them to 60 foot pounds, and get it back together. We took the uh, sway bar down to give us a little more clearance for the ratchet and everything to get up in there.